All right, people. I believe everybody is doing great, nice and absolutely fine. Welcome to Unacademy Neat English. If you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button as soon as possible. Now, see, listen to me very carefully. In this video, we will be exactly talking about a proper and realistic plan for your upcoming three months, okay? For the NEET 2024. Or we must say that is the go timetable. As simple as that. I have seen so many students who have cracked the NEET. The main point or the key factor was over there. They were having the proper and realistic or I must say a dedicated plan, okay? And I have seen those students also who couldn't crack need, they failed because of the silly mistakes, because of the problems, like they were not having the proper plan or the dedicated timetable. This was also one of the main reasons over there. Okay. So in this particular strategic video, in this particular video, we will be exactly talking about which plan or which timetable you should be exactly following for the next three months in order to crack NEED 2024, okay? Because so many students have been coming to me asking me, sir, we don't know how much time we should give to the physics, how much time we should give to the chemistry or biology, okay? How we are supposed to prioritize the subjects, how we are supposed to do the revisions and all, okay? Which, how much priority should we give to the biology, to the chemistry, and which time slot, slot should be for chemistry, which time slot should be for biology or we say physics. Each and every detail we'll be discussing in this particular video. Make sure you like this and do share it with your friends, okay? I have made this after doing so much, so much of analysis and research. So let's basically dive into this particular video and let me start it. That is the go timetable for NEET 2024 or the 90 days upcoming plan for you people, okay? The first thing that we need to talk about over here is, we say we have got three months left, okay? So in these three months, we say we'll have to study for 16 hours regularly and continuously. So what is the first thing that you guys are supposed to do is to make the to-do list. What you are supposed to do in the upcoming time. So the first is you have to put up the instant revision. And most importantly, we say the daily problem solving. Daily problem solving. Okay. It is mandatory. Now, let's first of all categorize the syllabus in three different categories. So we say high weightage and then we say moderate weightage and then we say basically low weightage. We have to categorize the chap chapters in high, moderate and low weightage in all the three subjects, physics, chemistry as well as biology. So every session... Every day, you will be starting with the session one. So I have put up the session one over here. And this session one will be from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And you'll be studying physics for in this particular session, okay? So this is 8 a.m. morning to 10 a.m. And in this one, you will be basically targeting the high weightage chapters because this is not the time you'll be focusing on the other chapters because you will have to cross the safe score first. Okay, then only you'd be able to crack NEET and enter the medical college. So that's why we say high weightage chapters you guys are supposed to prioritize first. So we say in this, like in, if we talk about physics, you have electrostatics, you have current electricity, modern physics, optics. These are the high weightage chapters that you guys are supposed to focus on. Okay, and what you are supposed to do, you have to make the notes and you have to make the formula sheet. Uh, while basically doing uh, in this session, okay? Notes plus formula sheet, very, very, very important. Then once you are done with this at 10.30, you guys are supposed to take the break. These breaks are very, very important, okay? In order to get the good results in this effective time, we, we must take the breaks, okay? Take this 10-minute break over here. Then from 10.40 a.m. to 12.40, you guys are supposed to do the same portion of the physics only. Do not take the chemistry afterwards. Take same portion of the physics only. And most importantly, what you are supposed to do is you have to focus on the previous year questions. Very important, very important and very important. Previous year questions have, you guys are supposed to do it. Okay. Because they will be asking this need only or them, the upcoming need attempts. They'll be asking the same questions over and again. Do not ask the new questions. Then you have the NCRT questions. Very, very, very important from the physics perspective, from the chemistry perspective, from the biology perspective. All those questions which are in-text questions, okay? If I talk about the physics, all those questions which are in-text questions. If you have uh, seen the NCRT, there are in-text questions. And examples which are mentioned in the NCRT, 
and and most importantly we say the exercise which is mentioned in the ncrt you guys are supposed to do that also okay so this is what you are supposed to do when it comes to the physics i'll be telling you in chemistry and biology separately then from 1240 to 140 you will have to do the instant revision whatever you have studied for the entire day not for the entire day whatever you have studied till 1240 okay so you will have to do the revision from 1240 to 140 that's what we call the instant revision for whatever you have studied in the session one okay and from 1 pm to 145 pm you can go for the lunch break you can go for the lunch break okay now basically comes the session number two now basically comes the session number two now this session is for those people no not this is for those people only but this session is for chemistry okay you will be starting the chemistry in the session number two this session you will be starting at 145 and you'll be ending at 4 45 pm and what you are supposed to do in this particular thing that is nothing but focus on the high weightage chapters first from the chemistry perspective also okay so then afterwards you will have to make the notes you will have to make the formula sheet okay and and then you have the ncrt reading ncrt reading is must when it comes to the organic chemistry when it comes to the inorganic chemistry you have to learn you have to read each and every single line so that you should know what pattern of question the examiner can ask from that particular line that's how you are supposed to read ncrt from inorganic and organic perspective and over here we say sir ncrt questions and previous year questions must be done from the chemistry okay and then we say sir 4 45 to 5 30 you guys are supposed to take the break now a lot of people will be confused over here sir shall i start from the organic inorganic or physical portion see it completely depends upon you if you are comfortable in physical take go with the physical if you are comfortable in organic go with the organic if you are comfortable in inorganic go with the inorganic completely depends upon you but make sure you start with the high weightage chapters that is the priority and that is what you guys are supposed to do that is important okay so 445 to 530 you guys are supposed to take the break and then basically comes the session number three in session number three you will have to you'll have to do the biology okay and you will have to start this session number three from 5 30 to 8 30 pm okay so from 5 30 onwards to 8 30 you will have to do the biology and in this one also you'll have to do the high weightage chapters these are the high weightage chapters you guys have to first focus over here also so do the high weightage chapters first and then most importantly when it comes to the ncert reading you'll have to do this also when it comes to the biology separately okay and you will have to do all of these things in this time frame only in this time frame only go with the high weightage chapters ncert reading must be done because from biology they'll be asking each and every single question from the ncert lines only and then you'll have to make the notes okay you'll have to make the notes and the notes will be something different in this every point of ncrt should be covered and extra points will have to mention in those notes also and we'll have to do the ncrt questions in this case also very important from the biology perspective and then we say you'll have to do the question bank you'll have to do the question bank we'll be having some question bank and you'll have to do that also in biology and and we say sir previous year questions must be done previous year questions must be done from the biology perspective also and then most importantly my dear friends from 8 30 to 9 pm you'll have to do that you'll have to uh, do that dinner first okay so once you are done with your dinner then from 9 pm to 10 onwards from 9 pm to 10 onwards you'll have to do the revision you'll have to do the revision okay so from 9 pm to 10 pm onwards you'll have to do the revision so this revision will be the complete revision for whatever you have studied for the entire day physics chemistry as well as biology before going to bed you should be able to revise each and every single thing from your mind only in your mind only whatever you have studied for the entire day because this revision is very 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 mandatory okay now the point is we have started we have started we have started at we have started at 8 a.m in the morning okay and and we have finished over here we have finished exactly over here that is 10 p.m now after this what you are supposed to do what you are supposed to do is see you will have to do the revision okay now a lot of students are over there who haven't started yet their preparation who haven't started their need preparation yet or some people have started but they still lag in some chapters over there 
for those students we have a, we have a dedicated plan that plan is basically the neat end game 2.0 and this neat end game 2.0 is for those students only who are basically looking forward to crack this need who have the aim to become the doctor in need 2024 but they somehow lack because of the time management or because of the other things see it is not only you'll have to do the preparation self-study there are so many other factors which are involved in order to crack the need you can ask those need toppers who have cracked the need before they will tell you what are the important parameters that you require in order to crack this neat exam. So we say mentorship is mandatory. Okay. See, if you have a proper mentor who have the experience of 20 years, 15 years, he'll tell you which plan you are supposed to follow, which path you are supposed to take in order to crack the need. So we say mock tests are very important. If you get the great, great mock test in which every pattern of question is involved and you would be able to solve that, you will solve those, those mock tests and get a good score. That is mandatory in order to crack the need. We say everything will be in this neat end game 2.0. If your preparation is 70%, 80% or if you have to start, so we say this batch is definitely for you. And, and we say this is end game 2.0. This started just yesterday it started only you can enroll in this particular batch we will be personally teaching you in this particular batch as you have seen our youtube courses you have seen how dedicated we are when it comes to giving the content how dedicated we are when it comes to basically the marathons and all okay that's why we say on academy neat english is the number one channel when it comes to the entire country so we say this batch you can enroll link is in the description below you can enter this batch you can learn from us personally okay I, I haven't started any session <clears throat> yet in this batch. I'll be starting from today on onwards only, okay? Today is my first lecture in this batch. You can enroll in this one and you can use my code that is YAWAR to basically get the extra discount. You can use my code to get the extra discount. The link is in the description below. You can join it, check it as soon as possible, okay? So thank you so much. This was all about it. And if you have any sort of doubts, you need any sort of clarifications, do let me in the comments down below. Drop a comment. I'll try to read those comments and I'll try to answer all of those. Okay. So thank you so much. This was all about it. Take care and bye-bye.